For those of you that have done any tracing in Corel Draw, you're probably familiar with the Bezier tool over on the left hand side. This allows you to click from point to point and basically trace around any object on your screen uh, that you can later plasma cut on your table. The problem with the Bezier tool is it creates an object that's nothing more than a series of straight lines. So it's uh, not very smooth and, and uh, for, for most projects that's not what you want. So what we're going to do here now is show you how you can take an object that you've drawn with the Bezier tool and, uh, and reduce the node count so you can smooth out the lines so it's not so jagged and you get a much smoother trace result. Now in the center of my screen you'll see I've drawn a, a simple circle with the Bezier tool. Uh, so again, it's nothing more than a series of straight lines and it's, it's fairly rough looking. And we're going to go ahead and smooth this out. To do so, we're going to get the shape tool over here on the left hand side of your screen. We'll click it and all the nodes will appear on your object. We need to select all those nodes if we want to smooth the entire profile out. And to do that, we'll click the Select All Nodes button up here in the upper center. All your nodes will be highlighted now. And we'll move over to the Curve Smoothness slider to the right. And we'll left click and hold. And we can move this slider all the way to the left, all the way to the right. But essentially, we want to find somewhere in between where we're not reducing the node count so much that the outer profile becomes distorted. Uh, so we want to preserve our profile, but still smooth it out. For this particular object, it looks like 26 on the curve slider is about the uh, the best number. So when I release, you'll see it's uh, it's now uh, a series of four nodes, um, some very smooth arcs, and you can use this feature to smooth out any object on your screen. Now you may have a section of a trace result where most of it looks really good. You only need to smooth out a small section. So you don't have to select all nodes. For example, with our shape tool, we can select just half the nodes and you'll see just half of them are highlighted. And then when we use the curve smoothness slider, it's only smoothing out that upper half. It's not touching the lower half at all. So there are lots of different ways you can work with the nodes and the curve smoothness to achieve what you want uh, with manual trace results. And I hope some of you find this video helpful.